All right, homemade DIY gate opener. Got solar charge controller, 12 volt battery, uh, wireless relay switch, uh, solar panel. Um, going from that to linear actuator. Uh, hardest part was getting all the the wiring done on this. Um, you got a jumper hot to the first pin on all these and negative to the third pins on all these and then your two wires for the actuator itself goes to the middle pins and after that it's pretty simple we'll show it in operation really important the spacing geometry is the key it took us three days longer than that to figure out we ended up figuring out about four to six inches from your actuator to the gate it's just actuated off amazon um, whole thing what about 150 bucks is what it costs mm -hmm. and then just get your wire wire everything up and then it just uses these remotes here uh, you just program a to open b to close and program c and d too but uh, other than that this you didn't tell them about this right no i didn't this, even mention this that right here we just wired up this antenna you can see the antenna comes off of the um relay board the relay board's what controls this switch so one relay controls a one relay controls b c and d you know and then you just wire them to this it comes with a wiring diagram but this is how we have it figured out um but other than that your battery this is a switch we tried to get the switch going but couldn't figure out exactly how to so all of this don't even worry about really it just goes from your battery to your charge controller. The charge controller goes up to the solar up there, and then this is your out. So you got your power in, power to your battery, and then power out. And then you got your power out coming to there too. Um, other than that, it's pretty, pretty well simple. This is just to get you some more range on it. That way you can open it from a little further down the driveway. It goes down to, if it's an eyesore, even this right here gets you a little bit better. What would we say it was? About 500 yeah, feet? Yeah, about 500 feet. We have a pretty long driveway. But it's almost 1,000 feet to your house, and it made it about halfway. About to that first little That very first tree. Oh. Um, but uh, other than that, we just, I made a mount. This is just a regular J mount. I, I, I just made that from work and the rest of that's off of an old dish satellite that from like dish tv that we had laying around that i just took off and put some bolts through i mean that's like a what a 20 30 dollar solar charger the panel and the charge controller which was that blue blue job right there was 29 dollars on amazon i think it the relay kit was $19 off Amazon the actuator itself was like 50 
And then we bought some extra key fobs. The for most expensive like 15. is going to be this part here. We actually had a battery, so we didn't have to come out of pocket on the battery. But these batteries, you can use a car battery, marine battery. This is like one of those batteries a lot of people put in like their um, trolling motors for their boats or um, lawnmower battery. Lawnmower battery would work. Anything 12 volt. But the higher the amp hours, the, this runs a little slow because this is a small battery. The higher the amp hour, the faster it'll run. That control arm piece on the gate is you want to make sure it's um, weatherproof, IP what? It's like an IP something IP58 is what that is. But you just want to make sure it's con it's it's weatherproof, you know. Yeah. Um, and you can get as expensive as you like, as inexpensive as you like. That thing was like 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, if it lasts a couple of years, throw another 50 bucks in there. We were looking at different kits that ghost controls was the cheapest mm -hmm. we found. And that's like five to $700, mm -hmm. depending on what odd and end you like and everything comes sold separately, but mm -hmm. this works. Yep. And so if you're looking for a cheap way to do it, I mean, hell the mounts we made, this is just angle iron. I have a pipe pipe here. And so we just got a pipe clamp like exhaust clamp from O'Reilly's that we did that and just drilled some holes, put some bolts through it. And then I just welded, that's a, don't mind my welds. I'm not a welder, but it works. Um, and just welded these brackets came with this uh, arm and just welded this onto there. And we had to fiddle with the sizing and everything. You're gonna have to size it to your gate. I have a, a pipe gate, it's very thin metal. You can see we tried drilling holes and everything. It didn't work, but then we finally found We'll just clamp it and then I welded this to the clamp. Um, you know, you could put a piece of, another piece of angle iron on there, clamp it onto, I mean, the in, endless things you can do and you may find something that works better. Um, but this is what we got going for right now. And it's simple, open, close. And the higher the amp hour battery, the faster this is going to work. Um, if you're not in a hurry, this works just fine. I mean, we have animals, so I mean, nine times out of ten, they're not over by the gate. But this works just fine. It's going to keep you dry. Benefit of going this route is it's all solar. You don't have to have <clears throat> power anywhere near your gate. This is all... <laughs> Duke's decided to go say hi to the cow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all solar, you don't have to have run any wires. I mean, my nearest even power lines about yeah, the, half a mile in that direction. The house is over a thousand feet in the other direction, so, so there's no power. But you can see his solar panel there. That does need to be angled towards the south with a bit of a tilt to the panel to get good good charge. We were getting, what, a little over 14 volt charge off of 14, it? But the charge controller will will manage the voltage depending on your battery it's automatic charge so, controller is extremely important um, that way you're not overpowering your battery uh, most solar panels you're going to get is going to come with one but if you find one that you like that doesn't buy one because if not you're you could blow up a battery easy um, and there's a bunch of different ways you can mount that arm too you can mount it on the inside outside pushing pulling um, it's just depending on your application if you don't have a gate like this and you want like a sliding gate it would work for that too mm -hmm. you're just gonna have to figure out a different mount this is just what we have running um you can do it pretty well any box container or anything like that all right